Give me more Barneys! This morning I had a request from Flynn Taggart to create a tutorial around spawning entities using buttons. There are probably a few ways you can do this, but the one way I know of is to leverage Lua scripting. I'm starting with a map from an earlier tutorial where I create a button to trigger an animation in an entity, and you can refer to that tutorial, but you can also start with any sort of button you want. I create a logic script entity, named it spawn script, and under the miscellaneous settings, I added spawn combine.lua to the entity scripts field. As always, remember to place your scripts in your vscripts directory, and if you're not sure where that is, you can check out an earlier tutorial linked above. This is a pretty short script, but you could do a whole lot more complicated things by expanding on this. First, I'm setting a global variable to point to a table that will store all the combine entities I spawn with this button. This is in case you want the script to manipulate them later, like for example, deleting old ones if you have too many in the scene. I create a function called spawn NPC combine, and I'll refer to this function by name from the button push later. I'm creating a local variable to store a list of default parameters, and these parameters are going to override the default properties of the entity when you spawn it. So for example, you can set the origin where in the world the entity is going to spawn. If you create an NPC combine S in the map and open up its properties, you can take the names from those properties and set them in this combine model variable. I could change the model from a grunt to a charger if I wanted to. Next, I'm going to create the entity and store it in a local variable called new combine. I'll use spawn entity from table synchronous. And while the documentation on this method is not great, but it's actually pretty straightforward to use. The first parameter to the method is the class name of the entity that you want to spawn, and the second parameter is the list of properties we just set above using the variable name to pass them in. Finally, we're just going to insert a handle for the newly spawned combine soldier into the global table created at the top of the script. Now open the properties of the func physical button and head over to the outputs. We'll set up an output so that on in, which is when the button is depressed in, we target the logic script entity, fire call script function, and pass it the name of the function we're going to call. In this case, spawn NPC combine S, the function we just talked about in the script. That should fire every time the player presses down on the button. Now for a little finishing touch. I'm gonna grab a model, you could grab any model, I'm just gonna grab a lamp here and I'm going to put it on top of the button stand. Now I'm just going to change the model from a lamp to a combine grunt. The hanging model has a nice pose, so I'm going to use that one. Now I'm going to scale it down to reasonable size, and now we have a slick little indicator of what the button is going to spawn. Great, let's make sure this works. So here's our button, it's the exact same button from the early tutorial. There is the item that I'm going to spawn, or an example that I'm going to spawn. You can imagine having like three or four of these with different items in every single one so you know what the button spawns. Or you could actually put other buttons here, like an up and down button where you maybe could switch between things to spawn and display them. And maybe I'll show that in the next tutorial. But this one's a bit of a rush job just to get it out tonight for uh, one of my subscribers. Now, if I touch that button, I get a combine soldier. If I touch it again, I get another combine soldier. And I can keep spawning combine soldiers. Now I probably want to move that spawn point a little bit over and that's in the model properties with the origin. So I could figure out where I want him to spawn and spawn that spot. And maybe I could add a little random variable so that every time I press it, it spawns a little bit further over. So not all spawning on top of each other. 
But uh, there you have it. There's all your little combine soldiers spawned. They're stored in a table, so you could do things with them. You could modify them within the Lewis script. And we'll take a look at that another time. But this is a quick and easy spawn. You can even just keep spawning these things. And eventually, we're going to probably run some problems with this. But apparently, you can actually keep a lot of combine soldiers in here. So there you have it. I know that was a quick tutorial, but hopefully it's helpful for other projects you're working on. If you're finding these helpful, please subscribe and share them around with your fellow modders. And let me know what else you'd like to see. Good luck with your Half-Life Alex modding.